What is up, guys? It's Relentless, and we are here with an Operation Titanic video. So, yeah, two in a row. So, this is part seven, I'm pretty sure. And we're just gonna be doing basically the same, kind of the same thing we did last episode. Is we're just gonna be building some rooms, and oh, uh, yeah, I did, I made some changes. So, this looks a little bit different, right? So, over here, I kind of completed the starboard side of the uh, hallway of the rooms over here so if you look in here you can see that i made the rooms so i have like the leaf headboard and i have a bed and there's a table and there's a bathroom which i haven't actually put anything in yet so it's not completely done and then over here is kind of the same deal except it's an interior room and it does not have windows and uh yeah the, the other two rooms are literally just the same thing except yeah the other two rooms are a little bit smaller because uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really have enough room for, uh, to make, to make it even. So, we're just going to be continuing the, uh, these rooms on this side of the hallway. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'm using a different shader pack, so, um, it's a little bit less laggy, and I can up my render distance to, like, 16 chunks, so I can see further, uh, what is my render, yeah, it's 16, yeah, I can up my render distance to 16 chunks, actually, I might even be able to up it to 20, um, yeah, I can even up it to 20, and it doesn't really lag that hard, and the wa- it, it still looks pretty nice, it just looks a little bit more like vanilla Minecraft, but we still have the beautiful shadows, and, of course, the sun over there, so I'm actually gonna turn down my render distance to 16 chunks, since it's just- uh, a little bit smoother, um, yeah, Java Edition, the optimized render this is for Java Edition is really 16 chunks. Just like on Bedrock, it's 48 chunks, so, yeah, um, over here, we are going to be building the other rooms, I already said that, so I'm just gonna get out, uh, a lot of spruce wood, and I'm gonna unset Lola, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get a lot of spruce wood, and, uh, oh my god, okay, I almost just, I almost just forgot about, I almost just forgot about this. So, um, I haven't told you guys this yet, but I'm getting a puppy, her name is Indy, and, uh, yeah, so I need another dog, and, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I might not be able to, f I, I might not be able to find a pupper, but I will be able to find, uh, an adult dog like Lola here, so, yeah, we're gonna have... We're gonna have two dogs, it's gonna be pretty cool. And Indy is a female golden retriever, just like Lola. Except she's eight weeks old so instead of ten and a half. So, um, yeah, we are going... So after I do the time lapse of me building the rooms, we are going to go to a taiga and find a dog, guys, yes. So we're gonna do something a little bit different this episode. And I currently don't have bones on me, so I'm gonna have to make a trip to uh, my skeleton farm, which is, um, it's closer to my village than the Titanic is. It's like maybe a hundred blocks away and the Titanic is probably like 400 or a uh, thousand blocks away or something, 500, something like that, I don't know. Um, yeah, but before we do that, we do, we need to do the time lapse, and uh, I can put the leaves away since we're not going to be, if we get to furnishing it this video, then that's cool, but um, I don't really expect that. So, um, uh, yeah guys, let's, uh, no further ado, time lapse starts now.
Alright guys, so that wraps up that time lapse. So that was probably, uh, that, that was a longer time lapse because I had to build four rooms. But as you can see, I did it in the span of like, I don't know, 15 minutes. That was probably, yeah, that was a 15 minute time lapse. Well, it won't be a 15 minute time lapse because it will be sped up by four times. So like, whatever, uh, 15 divided by four is that, that's how many minutes it'll be. Uh, the time lapse, so probably like a few minutes, but yeah, I'll just, saw uh, it, it, it should be somewhat entertaining because I'll have music over it and stuff. Um, so yeah, now that we've built the rooms, uh, we have, we have to go and get the dog, but yeah, we haven't built the ceilings on the rooms yet because I need to light them up so there's not like a thousand creepers in there. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't really have any lanterns and guess where all my iron is. <laughs> It's it's back at base, so we are going to be making a trip back to base. You need to sit. You're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna you are going to fall down this grand staircase one day, and then you're just gonna freaking vanish. You're just gonna die. Um, that's that's especially when we get the grand staircase all the way up to boat deck. Then yeah, falling down that thing would be a complete would be a uh, would be a death drop, okay? So we're gonna put all the wood away and we are going to head back to the village to get iron. And um, yeah, and we're gonna head to the forest to get a dog. So I have like seven lanterns right here, but that, that's not enough to light all the rooms. It's seven lanterns. So we're gonna put them in there, save them a little bit. And um, yeah, so we are going to fly to my village. So I haven't, uh, I haven't really, uh, been there that much because you know been doing the titanic and i promise when i'm done with the titanic we'll go to my village more so if we fly in to my village which is right here um yeah it, its actual name is ampere city so there used to be a village right here but i demolished it because it was ugly and i wanted it gone so yeah and we have our villager um slave cesspool over there with like a thousand villagers in there and then over, if we head over here, this is my super smelter. And uh, yeah, you guys saw this in my uh, relentless, does relentless cheat video, the behind the scenes video, which by the way is my most liked video on the channel. Thank you guys for all the support lately. It, it really does mean a lot. So I'm gonna head into my house and sleep, and then I'm gonna head over to my iron farm, which has like 15 double chests filled with iron, and it's overflowing because I don't have enough chests. And my ledger is pretty low, so I think I should probably head to my Enderman farm and and uh, and grind that XP. Uh, I have mending on all my tools, so yeah, um, and, and my armor, so it gets repaired with XP because that's how mending works. So over here is uh. Yeah, over here is my iron farm. So there's uh, a lot of double chests here, and they're filled with a lot of iron. I'm just gonna take a stack of iron because that crafts like nine stacks of nuggets. Uh, okay, wait. Let me actually compress that. I don't want that taking up nine slots in my inventory when it can only take a when it uh, can only take up one. And if we and if we crafted them and oh wait, it's an uneven number, so it would actually take up two. It would actually take up uh, two slots crafting them into blocks. So I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, so over here is my slime farm, which is also overflowing. Um, there's a slime, I, there's a slime chunk right there. Um, if I turn on chunk borders, so this is kind of becoming a world tour, but yeah. Uh, so this is the slime chunk right here, and then right below here is a seven-layer slime farm, and it pretty much only it it, it kind of only works at night. Even though I lit up my village here with these carpets that have sea lanterns under them. Because I don't want just a bunch of sea lanterns all over my ground. I covered them up with green carpet, so it looks a little bit more natural. Still looks a bit, still looks a bit patchy, but it's fine. Um, I actually think I actually don't really mind it that much. Uh, so I, I'm really getting off track here. I need to go to my end to repair my elytra because it is. It's pretty low. It has mending and I'm breaking three, but it's it's getting low. It's getting low. So, um, okay, yeah. So wait, 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 wait. So if you guys have ever watched my old channel, you'll know that I built this this nether room down here, and this hopper line is for the automatic item sorter that's up here in my house. Okay, that's not the ladder. It's up here in my house. So yeah, you put uh, shulker boxes on those hoppers and stuff there. They filter in that chest. They go in that underground area and then they go up this water stream which is a 
dispenser thing and then yeah it goes into a dropper thing and then it goes into here which is my automatic turning system completely automatic it is it, it's pretty awesome I, I really really do like it. it is very helpful so anyhow I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go in the nether and why am I going to the nether to get to the end like you guys probably think I'm stupid right now well um there's actually in a uh, nether portal that leads to my end right here to my stronghold so if we go okay the world did not generate for a second but if we go in here you can see oh yeah okay so pretty much the last time i was in here yeah look the dream head is still here from that from the from the the relentless cheat video <laughs> the dream head is still here when i killed dream because he was quote unquote bad um yeah uh so anyways i'm just gonna set my spawn there and now we're in the end you guys don't you guys don't need to see that and uh yeah let's just fly over to my end farm which is way over here and why did i use leaves well that's because i don't want endermen spawning on them on there because i try i do get the endermen out of spawning distance so i can have more spawn here so i'm just uh so they're already dropping a lot so i'm just gonna do a quick time lapse of me uh, actually, you know what? I, this video is already gonna be long enough. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna cut it out. I'm just gonna completely cut out the part where I'm killing the Enderman. All right, guys. Um, I'll be back when I'm done killing the Enderman. Oh my God, this farm is very fast. My Oetra is already done repairing, so I'm actually gonna spend some of that time repairing. Oh, oh my God, I, I thought I accidentally threw something important. It, it got caught, so it doesn't really matter. But oh my God. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a ton of lag spikes because of how much they're spawning. But yeah, you can see, um, okay, so I'll be back when I repair my netherite axe. So, as you guys can see, I have fully repaired my axe, and I'm not gonna repair any of my other items right now, because, uh, they're basically at full health, and, yeah, I would repair my bow, but it's in, but on bows, it's either infinity or mending, which I'd much rather have infinity on my bow than mending. So, um, yeah, I have infinity, and there's no mending, so if I... Uh, held this on my offhand and killed the Enderman, it would not do crap because it does not have mending. So, yeah, I'm just gonna fly back over to the overworld and get out of it. Dude, I keep on getting these little random lag spikes. It's honestly kind of annoying, but I also think it's because of how many mobs were spawning in that Enderman farm. So, I'm just gonna leave my end and, yeah, so I'm gonna go back through here. So, I'm gonna get more fireworks, so you guys are probably like, yeah, why is there two nether portals here? I think I already, I don't know if I explained this in my Relentless Sheets video, but if I did, then, uh, whatever, I'm gonna explain again. So, that one is to the main nether room, and this one's to the creeper farm. So, I'm gonna go to the creeper farm, and why did I make one to the creeper farm if it's literally, like, 70 blocks away? Don't ask, okay? I have no idea. I honestly don't know. So, I'm gonna take... Uh, 63 gunpowder and the reason for that is because 63 gunpowder because uh yeah it's an odd number and uh three and 63 uh divided by three is uh equals a whole number so yeah i don't want it to equal uh not a whole number because then i'll have a want because then i'll uh, i'll craft my fireworks and have and have leftovers okay i don't want that leftovers are annoying all right, over here is my sugarcane farm, which is, uh, and yeah, sugarcane crafts paper. Wow, epic knowledge. So if I get that, here, I'm just gonna do that, and then do that, and put everything else back, all right? And I am going to craft that into paper, and you see that it's three sugarcane for three papers, so an odd number. And, uh, yeah, now we have 63 paper and 63 fireworks, and boom. Boom, there we go. Three stacks of fireworks. That's kind of epic, right? So now that we've done all of that, we've done some um, basic necessity and needs, we are going to go and get a doggo, guys. Yes, a new doggo. We are going to have two puppers. And they are going in... And I'm going to make a designated dog house for them in the Titanic. Stay tuned for that. So I actually don't know where my taiga is, so I'm just going to... Uh, oh wait, yeah I do. It's so I have to fly to the Titanic and then go across the ocean and then there's this taiga village and uh, yeah and then there's a huge taiga from there. It's it expand. It, it's a huge. Ex oh yeah, okay. I, I just forgot that. I just totally forgot that I need bones to uh, 
to um, tame dogs. So I'm gonna go to my bone farm, which is right here. I built this like 15 years ago, so it kind of is uh, crappy. All right, I can't see anything, so I can't see anything even um, in game. It's gonna look even worse as YouTube compression. So I'm gonna just gonna I'm okay. I I cannot speak. I'm gonna enable night vision in the video. Um, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna use muscle mem- I'm just gonna- Okay, I used muscle memory to find- to find my way around, and it worked. Alright, now let me go back up the ladder, which I can see a little bit, like, hardly. And then over here, okay, now through the tunnel, alright, and then, uh, are these stairs? Okay, yeah. On- oh, no, they're not. It's another hallway here. Honestly, guys, I can't see anything. There it is. There's- there's the- there's the night. So now we are going to fly away, and yes, guys, I definitely need 63 bones to a uh, tame dog. I don't know why I got 63 bones. Don't ask. So we fly over here to my Titanic in this little villa that I built um, a while ago. So hello, beautiful Titanic. You are very beautiful. Oh yeah, guys, I also finished uh, planking the bow. I finished putting together the bow. So now I'm just gonna need some fences and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna head over to the Taiga Village now, which is across this ocean. There it is. It's literally right there. So this is, uh, it's just, just a little village. Um, it's on the coast. And then over here is a huge expanse of Taiga. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep so I can actually see. Oh my god, a creeper just exploded behind me. So, um, ooh, I I'm just gonna sleep. Please, zombie, don't wake me up. Okay, okay, freak you, freak you. No, 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 there's water right here. Die. Goodbye, mortal. Okay. You are inferior to me. Alright, guys, search for the- search for a wolf. I will be back when I find a doggo. Oh my god, guys, I found four. There's more over there. Oh, wait, is that a sheep? Wait, no, that- that's a dog. I see it's now. Oh my god, there's so many dogs. This is actually heaven. This is dog- heaven okay which one should we tame um since you're coming up to me you look worthy all right guys we need to make this a magical moment all right face me nope nope face me so it's magical thank you oh okay all right uh, oh my okay okay the, the, you're making this hard okay on account of three two one welcome to the titanic family indy your new name is indy i do not know what your name was before actually you didn't have a name before what am i saying yeah welcome welcome to the family um so now i need to get you home so come on follow me and guys when i said i'm getting a new puppy i it, it's it's not here yet um so, uh, this is, uh, what I'm about to say, uh, is probably gonna become a meme and a joke, but the dog is being shipped to us, like, yeah, not through Amazon, it's not, like, an, and it's not gonna arrive in an Amazon package, it, it's, uh, it's being shipped from Indiana, and it's literally gonna arrive on our doorstep, so, and no, it was not from Amazon, you don't buy dogs from Amazon. So, I actually don't know where the heck I entered from, so I'm just gonna find my way i think i'm i'm just gonna use um my my path finding skills my 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 navigation skills of this world i've had this i've 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 had this world for over a year i should my navigation skills on this world are are pretty decent oh yeah guys you see this huge clearing here this is where i cut down a bunch of spruce trees for the video guys okay i see ocean over there so that's that's a good sign i think and then this way would be the village if i'm correct there it is See, I'm not stupid. I know my way around this world. Okay, come on, Indy. Come on. All right, how do we get home? I think if I fly home, like, you guys might just be like, yeah, fly home, stupid. Well, um, the problem with that is, is if the dog gets out of my... It can't teleport to me while I'm in the air, right? The Indy would kill herself if she did that, which is uh, why the game prevents it. But if I did that, then Indy would stay here on the ground, and then when it unloaded the chunks, uh, she would just kind of stay here. She would kind of be frozen in time, like a time capsule. And uh, she wouldn't teleport to me if I once I got to the other piece of land, which is over there. So... Um, I can either walk around the coast, or I can get her into a boat, which I think I'm gonna choose the latter, so I'm gonna get a bunch of wood, and, um, yeah, and I'm cutting down the entire tree, okay? I'm not evil. 
<laughs> I don't just cut down like the first two blocks of a tree and then leave it floating. That's just that's just evil. Anyone who does that is actually freaking Satan. Okay, so now that we have our boat, come on, get in. Uh, let me just place it right there and uh, come on, Indy. There we go. All right, now I just roll the boat into the ocean and we are off. We are off. We are off to the Titanic now. So I haven't actually created metal ramps up onto the ship yet, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to get the dog onto the ship. Oh, I know how. I know how. Since, um, I am, since if, if I fly up to sea deck right now, um, which is, and I leave Indy down here, if I destroy the boat and then leave her swimming in the water for like half a second, I fly up to sea deck and she'd still teleport to me. Um, because it is in my render distance. All right, let me just break the boat now without without killing the dog. There we go. And let me just fly up and over. All right, yep, there she is. She is on the ship. Welcome to the RMS Titanic, Indy. Um, yeah, I know the ship sunk, but I'm rebuilding it because, yeah, nobody else has done it yet. It's been 109 years and nobody else has done it, so I'm going to do it. And, uh, yeah, so we have Lola over here, and we have eight-week-old Indy, and, yeah, she is, she looks like an adult, but whatever, we, we can ignore that, right? I'm gonna go and grab some name tags from my AFK fish farm that used to work, because ever since 1.16, um, AFK fish farms don't really give the loot they, they did give. Like, they don't give enchanted books, they don't give name tags, they just kind of give fish now, which kind of sucks. But I still have some of the loot from when the world was on 1.15, and it's in these, like, 20,000 chests over here. So there's probably a few name tags. Okay, I just saw, like, eight in here. Alright, there we go. So I'm gonna get one name tag. Um, and I'm going to swim, uh, yeah, swim, I'm gonna swim up the ladder. Um, I meant climb up the ladder, and I'm going to head over to my anvil, and, and name the name tag Indy, and then fly back to Titanic, and, uh, yeah, put the name tag on the dog. So, um, I haven't actually, uh, said how it's spelled yet, so it's I-N-D-Y, not I-N-D-I-E, not anything like that, I-N-D-Y, Indy. And, um... Yeah, so if we fly back to the ship, we can name the dog Indy. Pretty epic stuff. All right, so we're back at the ship now. All right, Indy, your name is now officially Indy. Look, you can even see it in the shadow over there. Her name is Indy. Um, yeah, so, uh, uh, a lot, like, 70% of this video was me flying around and talking and not actually building the Titanic, but I'm still going to name this Operation Titanic Part 7 because I love, I love clickbaiting, you guys. So, um, yeah. Uh, so the last thing I'm going to do for this video, because I've been recording for 47 minutes now, is I am going to put roofs on the rooms, and I promise, n uh, next episode, Part 8, will be actually more building and not, um, uh, you know, uh, taming dogs and running around and killing Endermen and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, so after I put the, um, the, the roofs on the rooms, then I actually am going to kill the Wither. Yes, guys, I've already killed the Wither, like, one or two times before, but I'm gonna be doing it again. Because, yeah, and this time I'm gonna be doing it on camera. So if we look at my Ender Chest, we have the resources here. We have three Wither Skull. Okay, we don't actually have Soul Sand, but whatever. Soul Sand is really easy to find. So I'm gonna make, like, a 20-second time lapse of me putting the roofs on the buildings. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna sleep, and then we are going to start the time lapse soon after. Alright guys, so I slept and uh, I did I crafted more lanterns using the crafting table So um, yeah guys, I'm going to uh, start the time-lapse now
Yeah, so that time lapse is over. It was actually probably longer than 20 seconds because I decided to also do the hallway ceiling. So now it's pretty much identical to the one over here. So, um, yeah, leaving it on that note, that's all we're going to be doing for the, for the Titanic today. And, um, yeah, I'll definitely be uh, doing some work off camera. Not sure what yet, but I will be doing some work off camera so i'm just gonna throw everything excess into the chest and i'm going to keep the wither skeleton skulls and i am going to fly back to base and see if i have any soul sand and and to wrap up this video i'm gonna kill the wither for uh, i think the second time and i already have enough resources to craft one beacon but two is even better right and also since i'm on hard mode um, you can, you can get killed by, you, you can, you can, uh, die of starving. So, um, yeah, like, those AFK farms where, like, you whack the Enderman to get XP, that actually uses hunger, so it'll be really useful to have a regeneration beacon over there, so I don't die. So, shockingly enough, I don't think I have any soul sands, so I'm gonna, uh, make a quick trip to Nether, and I'll be back in my wither... I'll be back in my wither fighting area, which is, uh, some random ravine in the desert. Alright guys, so I'm back in the, uh, back, and, uh, I'm back in the back, yes, that made so much sense what I just said. No, I'm back, but I am in the ravine that I was talking about, and if you guys don't know where it is, it's literally right outside of Ampere City, it's just right here, um, yeah, so this is where I fought my first wither. And this is where I'm going to be fighting my second one. So, I do have a netherite chest piece so I don't die. So, yeah, I'm full netherite now. I am a netherite god. And it, and these are its enchantments. Protecting four and breaking three thorns to mending. I mean, I don't use it that much. If yeah, I don't use it at all. I use my elytra. Uh, literally 99.99% of the time. So, I'm going to throw my, uh, my stuff back in here. And, uh, okay, there we go, and I'm just gonna, since this is the Silk Touch pickaxe, I always make sure it's the Silk Touch pickaxe, so I'm not mining it with my, uh, with my fortune pickaxe and destroying the ender chest. I mean, not that that's a big deal, I have, like, two, uh, I have, like, a lot of ender pearls at my enderman farm, and, uh, plenty of blaze powder, and, uh, I know, I'm, I know, like, five nether fortresses around in my nether, so yeah, it'd be fine if I broke it, but it's just a little bit of an inconvenience. Um, anyways, enough of the jibber-jabber. I'm going to get to fighting the, uh, the, the wither. Yeah. Oh my god. Run. 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 Alright. Gap up. Gap up. Gap up. I don't know why I'm scared. I've done this ten times before in other worlds. He explode. Kill it. Attack. Bow. Bow. Okay. Bow. Use my bow. I'm using it. I'm using my bow. Gotta eat up, gotta eat up. He's already down half. Oh no, he's in that he's in that mode where he's on he's down to half, which means he rejects all of the bullet uh all of the arrows. I can't speak. This is intense. Okay, my house is going down dramatically. I gotta eat up. How was that? And he is dead! Easiest wither fight of the century. And I picked up the nether star already. Alright, that's pretty cool. So now that I have this uh, everlasting wither 2 effect. Um, uh, like half a minute more of it. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I thought, yeah, I didn't even come close to dying. I don't know why I just said I thought I was going to die. I didn't even come close. Alright, I'm just going to throw my elytra back on. Throw the chest piece into my ender chest. Which is where I usually keep it. And throw the golden apples over there. And I have the uh, the nether star, so I'm just going to put that right there. So I have two. And um, yeah, I'm going to make a beacon soon. Um, since this video is reaching uh, the hour long mark, well, it's probably going to be more like 20 to 30 minutes long than the actual recording. I'm going to be honest this time. Like, one time I said that my recording was going to be like 10 minutes long and it was actually like... 35 hours long well maybe that's a slight exaggeration but yeah i'm gonna be truthful with you guys this time this video is gonna be a li it's gonna be a teeny bit longer so yeah um i'm actually going to craft the beacons but i'm not gonna 
place all the blocks down yet that's gonna be next episode but i'm gonna leave this video off on uh, on a good note crafting beacons yeah so i have enough obsidian i'm pretty sure you need like f uh, i'm not you need like three obsidian five glass and obviously another star so anyways i thought okay i have 29 obsidian that, that's definitely enough and then glass please okay there we go all right epic uh Let's craft the, uh, t okay, yeah, no wonder I can't craft the beacons. So I don't have the main ingredient, the, the, the beautiful nether star. All right, two beacons, two beautiful beacons. Wow, okay, that, that's a pretty epic note to leave the video off on. So, uh, yeah, with, with that note, I'm going to end the video here once I break my ender chest because I don't want to, don't want to leave it there. I just, I just don't like leaving my stuff places. Cause like, I'll leave the world, and then like when I join back, I will just completely forget about it, and then I'll be sad because I lost my ender chest. But um, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to end the video here on a beaconly note. Oh, that, that was cringe. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this video off on uh. On a good note, with two beautiful glowing beacons behind me. And yeah, I know they're not powered. I need, like, I need a source of, uh, of blocks below them. Which I think I'm gonna use iron blocks for now. But once I build my raid farm, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna make it out of emeralds. So, yeah, guys. Um, uh, so, uh see you later.